Hello everyone, this is Pastor Frank DeMora with the End Times Research Ministry. Today is July the 20th of 2017. You're at my post looking at where my book is, The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, of which you can get today absolutely free. Just scroll down and underneath the picture of the book you'll see a link where you can click onto that link and the newest edition will come up and that edition will be July the 20th now so it is very very current. Now, Yesterday and the day before I was giving you some information about the Temple Mount, all the trouble on the Temple Mount and in relation to what the prophet Zechariah in chapter 12 talked about, about Israel having problems especially Jerusalem there in chapter 12 of Zechariah talks about Jerusalem being a burdensome stone so if you missed those posts yesterday over at my site please go over there and watch the news it's very very important Israel is heating up tensions are heating up over this East Jerusalem Temple Mount area I keep saying over and over again this little section of the Temple Mount could be what causes the next conflict war between Israel and the Arabs look at this headline Hamas warns Israel of al Ask red lines amid protests Hamas is one of the major enemies of Israel for almost a week now the Arabs have been rioting demonstrating tensions are getting worse because of the turnstiles and the metal detectors that were placed on the Temple Mount to keep obviously everyone safe. The Palestinian group Hamas has warned Israel against crossing a red line at the al Alask Mosque compound as residents of the Gaza Strip demonstrate for a second day in solidarity with Muslim worshippers protesting against the new security measures at the holy site. To the Zionist enemy I say openly and clearly al Alask Mosque and Jerusalem are red lines. Truly they are red lines. Ishmael Henia, leader of Hamas, said on Thursday, To the enemy I say, your policy of closure and imposition of collective punishments against the residents of Jerusalem and our places of, of sanctity will not be tolerated. Marches have been organized throughout the day by Hamas, the Islamic Jihad, and other groups demanding that Israeli remove the metal detectors installed at the entrance of al Ask. The groups are calling them Israeli aggression and a warning of consequences if they are not rolled back. And this is why I keep talking about the possibility of war. Thursday's protest in Gaza and outside al Ask followed days of clashes between Israeli forces and Palestinians across the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem over the new security measures. Also on Thursday, Muslim worshippers continue to pray outside the al Ask compound defying warning by Israeli authorities. Metal detectors and turnstiles were installed at the holy site after a deadly shootout there on Friday. In that incident, two Israeli security officers were killed in an alleged attack by three Palestinians who were killed by Israeli police following the violence. Ahead of Friday's prayers, the Israeli government is considering what to do next with the new security measures. And as you can see by this picture, the somber looks on these police dealing with these radical Muslims. On Wednesday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke by phone with Hungary, with Israel's security chiefs, to hear the assessments and recommendations according to a statement by his office. Israel's internal security service, Shin Bayat, has recommended that the metal detectors be removed, but Jerusalem police have said that the barriers should stay in place. Al Jazeera's Imran Khan, reporting from occupied East Jerusalem, said Palestinians are incredibly worried about the police stance. They see this as an escalation of Israeli sovereignty over al Ask compound, Khan said. Palestinians are asking what happens next. Netanyahu said on Friday that he did not want to alter the status quo 
which gives Muslims religious control over the compound and Jews the right to visit but not pray there. But Palestinians fear Israel is trying to retake the site by stealth. This by no means is just about the physical detectors. It is about who controls the Al-Asq Mosque compound, our correspondent said. The site houses Al-Asq Mosque and the Dome of the Rock Shrine, Islam's third holiest site for Mecca and Medina, as well as the ruins of the biblical Jewish temple. Muslims know the site as Al Haram al Sharif, or the Noble Sanctuary, while Jews refer to the place of worship as Temple Mount. Palestinian President Ahmad Abbas cut short his trip to China on Wednesday to return to Palestine to deal with the mounting tensions. His office said that he had been touch with Arab and international leaders to try to prevent a deterioration of the situation. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, Jerusalem's top Muslim leaders called on all the city's mosques to close on Friday in protest against the new security measure. And by Abbas doing this, he is forcing the people who would be going to those other mosques to go to the one in East Jerusalem. And all that would do is cause more tensions. Grand Mafi Muhammad Hassan said Palestinian Muslims should instead gather outside the gates of al Asq Mosque for the weekly Friday prayers. Questions about control on the site frequently lead to outbursts of fighting. After last Friday's alleged attack, Israel closed off the area, preventing Friday prayers at the al Asq Mosque for the first time in decades. So as we watch the news, we can actually see what Zechariah the prophet was warning about. Jerusalem becoming a burdensome stone. That's where the Temple Mount is. That's where the Muslims are going to cause problem after problem when they see anything that may change the status quo. Now, any normal person would understand that if there's violence on the Temple Mount, and people are going up there with guns and knives and they're attacking innocent people. Then any normal person would go along with metal detectors to keep everybody safe, including the Muslims. And like this article stated, it's not about the metal detectors. It's solely about they want to keep control of this Temple Mount area. They want to keep the Jews off. But as I continue to say, over and over again no matter what the Muslims do on this site the Bible is very specific that there will be a third temple built Jesus refers to the book of Daniel about this Antichrist coming into this temple that's built proclaiming himself as God and if there's any Muslims at all that are watching this let me just say this I love you with all my heart and I know that your eyes have for some reason been blinded to the truth but I also know that God is searching the hearts and the minds of people throughout this world including the Muslims and the Lord loves the Muslims as much as he loves anyone else but the Lord has also stated that the only way to the Father is through the Son. And the only way that you can go to the Father is by accepting the fact that Jesus Christ did come, not just as a prophet, but as God on earth, just like the Lord reveals in his text. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So if you are Muslim, and you're watching what's going on on the Temple Mount, and you don't believe what I'm telling you, all I'm going to ask you is this. Please, just keep an open mind. I know that may be pretty difficult, but keep an open mind and watch the news. And when you see that the temple is being built, understand Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And not just the Messiah, but God and you would have to bend and kneel and pray and ask Jesus Christ to be your Savior and have your name written in the book of life. That's my prayer for every Muslim who is watching this video today. This is Frank DeMore with the End Times Research Ministry. God bless you all.